Bonjour, I'm Sienna. I'm a rising senior at Rice University and I'm here in Paris lucky to be doing the ODEC IC program. I'm studying NG200 and right now we're going to the bakery. Is it open? I like to get the chocolate almond croissant because I feel like in America it's either chocolate croissant or almond croissant. But here it's combined and it's really good. And last time I had it, it was fresh and it was still warm in the morning and it was so good. Un croissant et chocolat et amandes. I can't speak French. <laughs> A lot of people have like tap usually, so that's really easy to use. Um, but I got Euro in America, like I just exchanged it at the bank. And so I've been getting like coins and stuff, which are pretty cool. And it's like easy to just like, especially for this, it was two Euro. So I just give two Euro in coins. See. The food is really good, especially the baguettes at the bakery. And when we go out to eat, especially for like group lunches or for dinners, it's pretty good. They have a variety of like cuisines as well. But French bistro is really good. And I would also say like Italian food is really good here. One of the people who gave us a tour of Paris before um, we went to class actually told us that like most people sit down and eat because food is an experience here. Um, but she said that you might stick out a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal if you eat while you go. And I feel like we eat while we go a lot because we're either running late or we're running to something. So I guess, I don't know, <laughs> we're trying to multitask. <laughs> so after breakfast, now we're heading to the gym. Jaden's already there, Max is on his way. Um, just a quick workout because then I wanna go back, shower and get ready for class. This is an example of a room that you could have while staying at the Rice Global Paris campus. Um, so we have our bed, I have a nice patio out here that can lead to the outside backyard. We all have desks and chairs. Um, we have a kitchenette that is fully stocked with like pots and pans as well, and a fridge as well as a stove. And then we have our bathroom um, with a shower and a sink and toilet. This is really nice that we get our own rooms and our own bathrooms. Um, mostly though, while in Paris, we're out exploring, so we were only here really just to like sleep at night. Definitely bring a water bottle because the tap water here in Europe is clean, so you can drink out of the sink. Um, and rice actually provides everything, so like the bedding, pillows, towels, um, everything that you need, they provide, so you're fully set. So this is what I packed. I have my laptop, my notebook, water bottle, pens, and my wallet. Um, and then in my small pocket, I just have hand sanitizer and lip gloss. <laughs> Yeah, you know. Now we're heading to class, but today we have like a field trip, so we're actually going to a fashion place, and then we're gonna go to class. So we're taking the bus, and then we're gonna go to the metro. I mean, Google Maps is pretty good about telling you where to go and like which bus to take, so that's really nice, but we also had to figure out the tickets. Uh, definitely get the pass because it's easy on your phone. Um, you can just tap it and then go in and it's like unlimited for like the week pass or the day pass, whatever you get. It's really not that bad. Like the public transit here is pretty good. Um, sometimes it'll stop and then you have to like switch, but other than that, it's pretty good. And we're going on this trip. I'm <laughs> gone pack, we're good. Yeah. Sometimes it gets really busy and we have to like squish on. <laughs> The thing about the metro though is that in Paris like you don't want to bother anyone else so if it gets crowded and you have a backpack it's better to like take it off or if it gets crowded it's better to stand up like that rather than sit down so more people have space. We're going to Steven Passaro. Um, a Rice alum actually works there and she sent us over a lot of information so that we could research um, the company and it's really cool it's like a they partner with this thing called Style 3D where basically they make a lot of CAD renderings, but it's not like CAD, it's like digital renderings of the models and the fashion pieces that they're gonna have. Um, and then that way they can make like customized, customized style pieces and also make sure that it fits the person. So they take the measurements and things like that from there. But I'm excited to find out about how they like thought about, you know, developing technology for fashion and how they thought to incorporate like 3D. Everything that you do is going to be much sexier if you think in fashion. Mm -hmm. Everything, mm -hmm. everything, food, cars, tech, mm -hmm. drinks, 
parties, movies, nothing looks good or is as fun or as attractive if there's no fashion in it. This is Rice University's Global Paris Center established in 2022 and it is a hub for Rice students, faculty and alum, which is actually how we were able to set up that field trip today um, with Stephen Pizarro. Deanne found out about this campus and talked to Dr. Wettergreen. We learned about you know, AI in the fashion industry, which is really cool. And we also have classes and our prototyping here, and we also talked to guest speakers, which is really cool. So let's go check it out. And so now we're heading downstairs to where our prototyping center is. So this is one of our prototyping rooms. Um, this is the 3D printer we have. It's brand new and we're the first people to use it. We have a power wheelchair user as our client and so three teams are working on different projects to help make her life a little bit easier. So this is why um, we're taking NG200 um, internationally in Paris so that we could have like a different kind of user and think about different design solutions that we normally wouldn't think about in America. So right now it is 8.30 and we are at the park. We just went to the grocery store to pick up some snacks, juice, wine, um, and some bread at the bakery, and some meats and cheese. And so now we're just having a picnic in the garden. I mean, this has been such an amazing experience and I'm really lucky to have this opportunity. I came in knowing like one person and now I'm leaving knowing a bunch of other people and people who are from Europe, like um, people we met in Amsterdam as well. and. I, like this experience has just opened my eyes to a different kind of culture, which has been really rewarding for me. I don't know, I've just been so lucky to be here. Like it's so crazy and so surreal to actually be like, oh my gosh, like I'm in Paris. Like I'm, I literally can see the Eiffel Tower. Um, so that's been really great. And it's really also opened my eyes to like a different culture so that I could take that into consideration when designing um, for my own like career in the future. <laughs> Au revoir.